evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Beno Fishing Tarek has started in Lake Ben, Western Armenia. Yes, the civilized world is responsible for the preservation of the Armenian culture. Artsakh Ombudsman appealed to international organizations. Genocide against Armenians. Photo exhibition was held in Freedom Square of Tbilisi. Poland sends free tons of humanitarian aid to Artsakh displaced citizens. Yazavisimaya Gazeta. Lukashenko's visit to Baku was a sting for Armenia and may cause tension in relations with Yerevan. Valery Melnikov's Paradise Lost series dedicated to Artsakh War wins first prize of World Press Photo Contest. Armenian students to create an automated agricultural city. International online conference on Armenology and archaeology dedicated to 100th birthday of Hakob Papazian. A ban of fishing of Tarek, which lives only in Lake Van, has begun in Western Armenia. Fishing boats entered in ports for 90 days. Let us remind you that the Tarek was considered the only fish species in Lake Van, but a new fish species has also been discovered. On the Universal Day of Culture, on April 15, the Ombudsman of the Artsakh Republic, Geram Stepanyan, sent a message to the international community, urging to take steps to protect the cultural heritage in Artsakh. The message reads, Today is the Universal Day of Culture, and now I am standing next to one of the most important Armenian cultural monuments in Artsakh, Amaras Monastery, a monastery that dates back to the 4th century. Amaras is one of the thousands of monuments that prove the centuries-long Armenian existence in Artsakh, the Ombudsman said. He noted that the war provoked by Azerbaijan against the people of Artsakh in September 2020 and its aftermath put the Armenian culture property of the region into a real threat. We were able to save Amaras, yet thousands of monuments were left out of control. And now, we witness the barbaric treatment of our cultural monuments by the Azerbaijanis. They vandalize, desecrate, dishonor, destroy the Armenian churches, Khachkars, monuments, cemeteries and sanctuaries, Geram Stepanya said. He reminded that the 1954 Hague conversation for the protection of cultural property in the event of armed conflict highlights that damage to the cultural property of any nation equally applies to all humanity. And yes, the civilized world is responsible for the preservation of the Armenian culture. Unfortunately, to date, no steps have been taken in the direction due to artificial obstacles created by Azerbaijan. On this important day, devoted to the preservation of culture from this holy place, I would like to once again appeal to the international community, to all the stakeholder organizations and the individuals who struggle for the preservation of cultural property. Don't be indifferent to the crimes committed against the Armenian culture, the human rights defender stated. The full article is available at the following link. A photo exhibition entitled Genocide Against Armenians was held in Freedom Square in Tbilisi. The exhibition presented photos of the genocide against Armenians, the massacres in Baku and Sumgate, as well as Armenian cultural monuments that fell victim to Azerbaijani vandalism in Artsakh and Nakhijevan. The exhibition was organized by the Armenian Community of Georgia non-governmental organization. The government of Poland sent free tons of humanitarian aid to Armenia on April 15 which will be provided to the displaced citizens of Artsakh that reside in Armenia. Armand Press reports that the first Deputy Minister of Labor and Social Affairs of Armenia, Tatevik Stepanyan, noted, adding that there are nearly 1,000 citizens of Artsakh residing in state shelters in Armenia. According to Tatevik Stepanyan, the citizens displaced from Artsakh are provided with all necessary stuff, while the humanitarian aid sent by Poland will be a supplementary assistance. Local observers have focused on the fact that Belarus, which is Armenia's ally with respect to the Collective Security Treaty Organization, is supporting Azerbaijan in the conflict between Baku and Yerevan. Nezavisimaya Gazeta reports, There is difficult work to do to restore life in the returned territories and you need to understand that Belarus is your reliable friend, Lukashenko said during his meeting with Aliyev. Armenia might view this statement as unfriendly. The visit, the possible sale of weapons, and the congratulatory remarks were a sting for Armenia and may escalate relations with Belarus, political scientist Valery Garbelevich told NG. Commenting on the possible goals of Lukashenko's visit, analysts say Lukashenko has a plan to ask for funds. In 2010, Aliyev helped Lukashenko by paying him $200 million to settle the accounts with Gazprom. Lukashenko might have discussed the issue of weapons supply. Ria Novosti special photojournalist Valery Melnikov won first prize at the Golden Award in the general news, 
Stories category of the WordPress photo contest with his series Paradise Lost. The photos were taken during the war in Artsakh in September-November 2020. This is the first time Melnikov won a prize at the WordPress photo contest. In 2017, his Black Days of Ukraine photo series about the tragic events of the summer of 2014 in Donbass won gold in the long-term projects category. The second part of his documentary trilogy on the Ukrainian conflict underground, which tells the story of civilians in Donbass, people living in the shadows of war, according to the author, combines photo, video and recording, and won silver in 2018 in the history in digital format, short format category, Ria Novosti reports. Within the framework of a joint project of TUMO Laboratories and the Armenian National Agrarian University, a new, larger project was launched after the successful completion of the development of an automated plant irrigation system. This time, the students will create an automated agricultural city, which will again be based on the Arduino programming language. According to the organizers, the students who have achieved the best results during the free math courses will have the opportunity to participate in the main project. Armenia, the Caucasus and the Middle East in the Middle Ages. History, Philology, Source Studies, Culture, Political and Economic Relations. The Madenadaran after Master of Mashdots invites you to the international online conference dedicated to the 100th anniversary of famous Armenologist, Philologist, Professor on Armenology, Archaeology, Hakob Papazian, which will take place on July 1st to 2nd, 2021 on the Zoom platform. The working languages of the conference are Armenian, English and Russian. New applications must be submitted by the following email address by May 10 and the provisions of the reports by May 31. Conference Organizing Committee Now we present you Nubar Siretiru Chararins. <laughs> The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.